sleeping mini from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse realistic or impossible? Let's break it down. Sleeping Mini. Greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Guster Lappin. In this video, I will be analyzing the 19th episode of the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse show and it's called Sleeping Mini. And we will see if this is realistic or impossible. Just so you all know, Sleeping Mini is the 19th episode of the 2006 Playhouse Disney show called The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and is the second to last episode of the show to release in 2006. And since it's animated, it is fake. However, we're going to break it down in detail to see if this episode is real. Could we make this episode in real life? How realistic would this be? And what will you think of this episode? So like coming back to watching these episodes as an expert is so exciting and happy as using my imagination to create stories. So before I break this down, leave a comment. Do you think it's actually realistic or do you think it's impossible? Let me know down below in the comments. We'll have a discussion after that. Now, let's watch it to find out for real. Welcome to our clubhouse. Who is that? Oh, Mickey. Haha, <laughs> it's our friend Clarabelle. Mickey, you've got to help me. I was out in the garden planting sleeping roses. Sleeping roses? What are they? Yes, they're called sleeping roses. How are they called sleeping roses? Because they'll make you sleep for a hundred years if you pick them. One hundred? Okay, the first thing is that Clarabelle is planting sleeping roses, which are flowers that can make someone sleep for a century, which is a hundred years and it's a lot. And there is no way on earth that these flowers could be real. My goodness me! Oh my goodness, Minnie's just by. going up to the sleeping Minnie, rose and no now she's way. picking one up! If you've seen a sleeping rose, do not touch it! Please, do not touch the sleeping rose! Oh, my goodness me! Minnie just came by! Minnie, no, wait! And she picked one! No! <laughs> Why did you smell the sleeping rose? Oh! My goodness, that was a very shocked expression. It might kind of be cute, by the way. But seriously though, do not take a sniff at a sleeping rose, because if you do, you'll just sleep for a century. Minnie, no, wait! Minnie, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. The next thing is when she smelled that rose, she thinks she felt so sleepy. It's very showy, for instance. And then she just springs up and lands perfectly on the top of the stair steps and falls asleep lying down and snoring. Boy, there must have been so much testing involved to make that happen. At least in real life. But as she smells the sleeping rose, she springs, floats, and lies down into the perfect spot yet again. Okay, another thing is that Donald is going up this glassy bridge thing, but that doesn't make any sense because if he tries going through, he slips and falls down and then slides back. That wouldn't happen in real life, but you know, it's so creative. I don't see it realistic as like an ice bridge, it's more like a glass bridge, but you can't really slip and slide on it. Okay, now they're going to this golden apple tree. But in real life, they can only go in red, yellow, and green, like the colors of the traffic lights. Okay. That is a big apple! Where did someone get an apple that large? Wait, wait. How big is that apple? This has got to be like at least 10 pounds or something. Like, no joke, this might be the world record for the largest apple. That might be actually Guinness World Record category, but in this episode, that's so huge! <laughs> Nikki, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time! Oh! He just flipped backwards! <laughs> well, there is no way on earth that that flip can happen. It's also impossible. So overall, this might be a fun episode to watch. It's very imaginative and creative, and also, 
It tells somebody to be so smart and so strong. And they also put a lot of thought into it and they have so many different movements. And the episode is based on a Sleeping Beauty, which is a pretty straightforward fairy tale classic. So is the episode realistic or impossible? Well, it's slightly realistic, but some people say it's impossible. At the end of the day, while watching the episode, I really like the part where Minnie falls asleep. And someday, I would like to recreate the episode. So, what do you think of that? And tell me what your favorite part of the episode is after watching it so many times. Is it falling asleep after smelling a rose, slipping and sliding on a bridge, or pulling a big apple off a tree and flipping back? Well, there's exactly only one way to find out, isn't there? So, head on over there to see some exclusive stuff that you cannot find on YouTube. You can also check out projects we'd like to do in the future, and if you sign up, they'll even take your suggestions far more seriously than the ones you'll find here. So, I hope you all had fun in the video. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And this is Gister Lappin, coming right at you at the 12. Goodbye. I'll see you all in the next video.